Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have another unit for you guys and this unit is from Hair Vivi and I wanted to do a transformation video. Um, so if you're familiar with Hair Vivi, then you know that they market themselves as a brand that has beginner friendly wigs um, that you can pretty much just put on your head out the box without, I mean, cutting the lace off. You gotta cut the lace off. But you can just cut the lace off, put it on your head and go. So I wanna put that to the test and see how long it would take to transform from my natural hair to this beautiful unit right here. So, so this is day six of a wash and go for me and I have not slept with a bonnet on my head in uh, two nights the last two nights yeah I did not wrap my hair because <laughs> I've been trying to film this video um so I knew that I wasn't going to rock my curly fro but yeah so this is day six and I want to transform and see how long it will take me and I'm going to time it and see if I can go from my fro to this sleek highlighted look and see how long it would take basically um so I do have the footage of what this unit looks like fresh out of the box, you guys. I did not do, why is it stuck? I did not do anything to this unit but cut the lace off. Literally no plucky, no bleaching, none of that. This is what the unit looks like. So they do have a new scalp now that they're calling the Invisa scalp. And you know that they had the previous fake scalp method, but a lot of people were complaining about different things, so they upgraded it. Um... So this is what the inside looks like. It still has the adjustable strap. You guys know that they have the new adjust adjustable strap um, that you slide instead of like the bra hook. Um, and then this is what the fake scalp looks like. I think it also comes in two new colors as well. I know because the colors that they had before, a lot of people, it didn't match for them. This is the... I think this is cappuccino. If I'm wrong, I will correct it somewhere and put it down below in the description box. But this is what the new scalp looks like. So it's supposed to be breathable. It's nice and flexible and stretchy. And then it comes in different colors. And then you're also not supposed to see that line of demarcation. I know a lot of people complained about it, even myself. Um, that's why I started cutting these out when companies sent them to me because you totally see that little line, especially if you don't do the ball cap method, which this is supposed to prevent you from doing a ball cap method, if that makes sense. So like why would I still have to do the ball cap method and do this so this is supposed to be an upgraded version and you're not supposed to see the line of demarcation so we're going to put that to the test as well but I've been talking for three minutes let me stop rambling you guys and so this is the unit highlighted you guys and I am about to set my timer and we are going to see how long this is going to take I got eight percent on my phone Okay, got my charger. Let's set this timer. Okay, let's go. Timer going. Here we go. flatter uh when it's wet versus dry and then I'm using my lovely bees edge control with this method but because my hair is not braided um, and it's kind of just like twisted back and fluffy I want to use um, this cap to kind of push it down and hold it in place we're three minutes in
five minutes and 11 seconds in and you could totally get away with rocking the unit like this. Um, I didn't tack the sides down or anything and this is what it's looking like. So my edges are peeking out a bit and it is kind of doing the floaty method a bit. Um, but you could totally get away with this and then if you put on your wig grip and you wanted a little bit more security because you didn't want to tack it down then this looks so freaking good but I'm going to take it a step further you know sometimes when you don't tack down the lace in the front it kind of floats up a little bit like it's doing right now and if somebody gets really really close to you they can kind of see that you could like I don't even know where my comb at. That you could like stick something under there like that. You want that to be a little bit more melted down into the skin to give you that illusion. Then you want to go in with some type of uh, holding spray or free spray. I'm going to use this one today because it's my first time and I just want to try it out. I'm talking fast y'all. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so you could totally get away with this. This took five minutes you guys. Five minutes to put this unit on and you could be out of the door. Um, if you want a little bit more security besides the elastic band, then I told you that you will go in with the wig grip. Um, and that will keep it from sliding back because sometimes even with the elastic band it'll tend to slide back over time And then next thing you know your wig is back here and you'll be like that girl oh, uh, On that dating show where it was behind the wall. He talked about her wig um, We don't want that you guys trust me. I've been there before I've been that girl uh, But yeah, we don't freaking want that so five minutes and this is done You are out of the door and ready to go and then if you have an issue with the tabs on the side I'm going to take this a little bit further and see how much longer it would take to secure the sides and then get this part down um, Just so you're not scared throughout the day, you know, so whew, That was a lot. Let's go ahead and hit this timer again five minutes 11 seconds and we are going to start it So to tag down the sides we need Bobby pin. So I learned this from my girl Simone. I'll go ahead and leave her channel down below. Y'all, why am I not prepared? What? Why did I have this stuff out? Where my bobby pins at? Got my bobby pins. So what you do is you just take a bobby pin, pull your wig forward, and then you want to put it right here above your ear. And that'll give you some security in case the wind is blowing and it blows back like this. You won't look like Dumbo and have ears flapping. Y'all, I'm not supposed to be talking to y'all. Hold on. Take a little bit of this Got To Be Glue Insta Hold Spray and I'm just going to tack down this middle piece right here. If you're doing a side part, you know you would just tack down the part that's showing because none of this will really matter. Feels good. And then the right. That's how long it took me to put this wig on and make sure that it was secure, nice and flat and straight, you guys. This is what the hairline looks like in the front and you don't have to worry about it moving. It is down. And then we have our nice little bobby pin action going on on the side. We are good to go out of the door. If you're rushing, it literally took me eight minutes and 44 seconds to do this, you guys. So, so yeah, I don't know, you guys. Do you guys think they're beginner friendly? Look how bomb this looks, you guys. And hair Vivi honestly has some of the best like hair to me. Um, their straight hair is so like silky and like just giving you all type of just lusciousness. Um, but let me show you guys what it looks like in the back. So 
so here is the bag. Okay, loves, I am all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any other videos you want to see, it doesn't have to be wig related. It could be natural hair or anything like that. Go ahead and leave it down below in the description box and I will try my best to do a video for you guys. Again, everything that I use will be down below in the description box, including like my stand and wig head because I know you guys always ask me about that. I actually need a new wig head, so I need to order one myself. But I love you guys. Stay safe, please. And I will see you in my next one.